Uh, Activision CEO Bobby Kotick knew for years about sexual misconduct allegations at the video game giant. Here's a bombshell story from the Wall Street Journal this morning that lays out how much CEO Bobby Kotick knew about sexual harassment and misconduct at Activision Blizzard. But uh, one of the funniest parts about the story, which is otherwise like a, a unsurprising yet uh, really scary uh, and really sad story, is uh, the fact that he apparently allegedly said he would have someone murdered. Over the years, Mr. Kotick has been accused by several women of mistreatment both inside and outside the workplace, and in some instances has worked to settle the complaints quickly and quietly. According to people familiar with the incident and documents, he threatened to kill a former assistant. Over the years, Mr. Kotick himself has been accused by several women. In 2006, one of his assailants complained that he had harassed her, including by threatening a voicemail to have her killed. Fun fact, Bobby Kotick was on the, uh, I don't know if he was on the flight, flo flight logs, but he was, uh, in, you know, at least Jeffrey Epstein did have his phone number. All CEOs are Logan Roy. Yeah, of course all CEOs are Logan Roy. Dude, that is literally just, <laughs> that's a document. Succession is a documentary, dude. Harassed her to have her killed. Uh, settled the matter out of court, people said. The Activision spokeswoman said, Mr. Kotick quickly apologized 16 years ago for the obviously hyperbolic and inappropriate voicemail. And he deeply regrets the exaggeration and tone in his voicemail to this day. <laughs> the tone. He's, he's, he's upset about, he's upset about the fucking tone of his voice. You know, when he said, I will have you murdered. Oh, it's good. 2007, he was sued by the flight attendant on a private jet he co-owned. The flight attendant claimed the plane's pilot had sexually harassed her. After she complained to the other owner, Mr. Kotick fired her. The defendants denied the allegations in a separate action related to the legal fees in the case. My man's like, <laughs> everywhere he goes, he's like touching, uh, uh, every, everything he touched tur turns into sexual harassment, which he deals with in a similar way, I see. Uh, since the California filed lawsuit against Activision Blizzard in July, the company has received more than 500 internal reports of sexual harassment, assault, and other issues. It's been facing an EEOC investigation and a new SEC investigation, as we reported. Soon after being appointed the co-head of one of Activision's most successful units, Blizzard, longtime exec Jen O'Neill sent a scathing internal email saying she didn't think leadership could fix the culture problems. She said she had been sexually harassed and wanted to resign. Under Kotick, Activision Game Studios were allowed to operate on their own, creating cultures that a spokeswoman told us led to some employees conducting themselves in truly regrettable ways. Employees were told to keep quiet, even as execs sent out laudatory farewell notes. We've looked at dozens of internal documents and spoken to many, many people over these months. A story like this isn't possible without the incredible sources. We can't thank you enough for the bravery. In response to uh, the explosive story uh, that is developing currently, the reporting that showed that Activision Blizzard uh, CEO Bobby Kotick knew about the various sexual misconduct and harassment allegations and was himself a perpetrator, and an employee walk out today demanding Kotick's resignation, the board says it's standing by him. Fuck off! That's literally... I mean, I, I hate to uh, turn this back to, uh, you know, succession, but like... That's literally what is going on, right? This is a, a direct, this is a direct thing that happened on Succession, uh, which is a documentary about most companies in America, I think. Leaked video? What the fuck is this? I want to talk with you today about our future and reiterate my conviction to create the most welcoming and inclusive workplace. Fuck off! He's like, bro, I'm scared though. These guys are like, like, this guy could technically kill people, you know what I mean, and get away with it. Over the last few months, so many of you have generously and candidly shared your experiences and your insights about the type of company you want us to be. We've taken meaningful actions to improve our company and our culture, but there's more to do. To become the model workplace we all aspire to be, more change is required, but I am so confident we will get there. There will, of course, be continued media attention about us and our industry over the next few months. In fact, there's an article today that paints an inaccurate and misleading view of our company, of me personally, and my leadership. Bro, he has not blinked yet. What the fuck? I want to say two important things about this. First... Oh, blink. We are incredibly fortunate to have the most talented people in our industry all so committed to constant improvement. And I share this commitment. 
Why does every CEO of like a major company have like the same fucking energy? They just like, they just have the 500 yard stare. I don't know. This is an internal video that we're watching currently. The second thing I want to say is that anyone who doubts my conviction to be the most welcoming and inclusive workplace doesn't really appreciate how important this is to me. Creativity and inspiration thrives best in a safe, welcoming, respectful environment. There is no substitute for that. And staying true to our values without exceptions is the best way to retain our talent and to attract the new talent we need to achieve our great potential. As I've made clear, we're moving forward with a new zero tolerance policy for inappropriate behavior and zero. Come on, moving forward, chat. We're not moving backwards. We're moving forward. Don't look at the past. We're moving forward. We're not going to have, we're going to have zero tolerance. Moving forward. Means zero. Any reprehensible conduct is simply unacceptable. We have a chance to further enhance our culture and be the example other companies will follow. And we are so incredibly fortunate connecting and engaging the world through joy and fun is a powerful mission. Accomplishing this in a welcoming, inclusive workplace ensures we will achieve our mission with excellence. Over the last few years, our industry has had an uncomfortable spotlight that's been illuminating opportunities for us to change. And we must all, including me, embrace this need for change so especially you motherfucker what do you mean <laughs> oh jeffrey epstein's black book uh andy over here we can bring our very best selves to the very best place to work bro he didn't even cry fake cry or rub his forehead like travis scott one time dude Bullshit apology, okay? He didn't... Where is the black and white filter? Where is the black and white filter where, like, it's just, like, head up? And you just look like, you know, you look like the tip of a penis, basically. You just, like, that weird angle where you only see the head. And you're just going like this. With a black and white filter. That's the only time I can understand. When you, when you throw the Tokyo filter on in every single fucking individual video, only then do I recognize that uh, you're actually sad. Thank you for your commitment to a culture of respect, your appreciation for the unique talents we each possess, and for maintaining the very best environment for all of us to work. For that, I am truly grateful. Whoa, that's such a weird way to end it. What the fuck? Bro, this literally looks like... Did David Lynch direct this apology, dude? What the fuck? Bro! You could not have made this creepier, dude. What's going on, dude? One of the editors... One of the editors that is working on this literally is just like... That's, that's a homie. Like, they did this? Oh my god, that's so scary, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Oh my God. He didn't even open with a heavy side. Two out of 10 apology video. Yeah, he's not a good apology. Dude, I can't. He's like, he's, I feel like he's staring into my soul, dude. Someone did him dirty with this. Okay. One of the first interviews you ever gave when he went to Activision Blizzard, he said he wanted to take the fun out of making games. I guess they didn't include all the fun sexual harassment. Bobby Kotick wants to take the fun out of making games. Every video game company should be operating as a co-op. I don't think that like uh, every industry and every fucking company needs to be a co-op. Okay, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those people where it's like socialism is when co-op and the more co-op, the more socialism it is. But I do think the video game companies would serve better, serve the consumers better if they were operating like co-ops. Look no further than literally Valve, okay? Think about when Valve was a co-op, boys. Think about that. The good old days. They used to make video games. I'm just saying. And not just fucking sell you knife skins. Okay? Now they're making the Switch Killer? Yeah, we'll see. <sighs> now they make loot crates. 